If you want to install a new backspacer on your Southern Performance Series Tolk, you're going to want to grab a few tools. I recommend a T8 and a T10 Torx, as well as a few cleaning supplies if your knife is pretty dirty and grungy. Some new oil to get it lubricated again is also quite useful. In order to break the initial bond that is on the Loctite that I put on the pivot screw when I initially install and assemble the knife, you're going to want a heat source. I recommend a Benzomatic torch or some sort of any butane lighter, even a standard Zippo will work, although it may get your knife a little sooty. We're just gonna lightly apply heat to the pivot area. There's nothing in there that can melt or can be damaged by heat, but you definitely don't wanna get this thing glowing. If you go that far, you've gone way, way, way past it. We're just trying to get it up to two or 300 degrees to break the bond of the Loctite. Once you do that, go ahead and remove the pivot screw and pivot ring. If you have the new style pivot screw, you're gonna use the T10, or sorry, I'm sorry, the T8 Torx. Old style, you're gonna use the T10, which is also the same uh, driver you're gonna use to remove these handle screws on the back. So go ahead and remove those screws with your T10 Torx. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cheat here and use my power driver to keep this video just a little bit shorter. Once you get that, uh, those screws out, you're gonna halfway open the blade just to relieve a little bit of tension and just wiggle the handle back and forth, just the lock side. That will hopefully help kind of remove any tension and pop that back lock side off the knife. Sometimes it's a little more difficult as you see here. So you're gonna wanna grab a flat bladed screwdriver and a towel of some sort. You're gonna wrap the towel around the flat blade of the screwdriver. This is just to help keep from scratching the frame of your knife and you're just gonna lightly twist, not pry, twist, to relieve the tension there and pop that part apart. Once you get everything apart, you're gonna start finding the washers that sit on top of the bearings, the bearings themselves. You can go ahead and remove the blade, clean out any gunk that you might have, clean out the bearings. Give them a little bit of oil now. It, it sure is a lot easier when everything's apart. You can also see your serial number here on the lock side of the knife tell you the date I built it as well as well, which number knife it is. So go ahead and remove those standoffs. Sometimes they're a little easier than others to get on and off. Well, this one took a little bit extra pressure, but uh, still nothing too bad. Once you get those removed, set them off to the side and grab your new backspacer. You're just gonna drop it in place and it slips right onto the already existing pins. And that's it, now it's time to reassemble. So. Go ahead and replace your washer, then the ball bearing. Put a tiny drop of oil on each washer as you assemble. That'll just kind of help give a little bit of oil for the ball bearings, keep them from forming any rust or anything like that. It also just helps just keep things slick. Now you saw there I was putting a little bit of oil on the detent ball track, but I put way too much. So I went ahead and cleaned that off and put just a little bit on, so a tiny little drop. Again, replace your ball bearings and then the washers. The washers are stainless steel. In fact, they're made of blade steel as well. So they're the same hardness as the blade itself. So, and because of that, you've got a much smoother action because you've got a ball bearings running against hardened stainless steel. Once you get the knife reassembled, go ahead and replace the pivot screw and the pivot ring, depending on which style screw you have, and just snug it down nice and tight. Uh, you wanna get it nice and nice and snug. Uh, we're going to loosen it back up here in a minute, but for now go ahead and snug it up really nice. Once you do that, sometimes the blade will already be centered, but sometimes, uh, like you'll see here, the handles aren't even pulled together properly yet. And we're going to use the screws to put that extra tension on there. So go ahead and replace your T10 screws. Again, I'm going to use the power tool here to keep this video just a little bit shorter. And at this point, as, as you get this final screw in, you can go ahead and check to see how well the blade is centered. Sometimes you may need to kind of push it in the direction you need just by loosening and retightening the backspacer screws. But at this point, the pivot is way too tight. So you can see if I try to flip it, it doesn't do anything at all. So you're gonna wanna go ahead and loosen that tension about a 16th of a turn, just a tiny, tiny little bit. So we've still got plenty of tension to keep 
all the blade play out, so there's no play between the bearings or the blade, so everything's nice and tight and beautifully centered. And the knife is flipping wonderfully. When you relieve tension, the blade drops freely, just like a flipper with all bearings should feel like. At that point, you're all done. Your knife is reassembled and ready to go. So thank you guys so much for watching, checking out my knives.